astral plane. Access to other levels and planes is normally achieved by the inhabitants of them lowering their vibration to access the astral for purposes of communication with selected human beings. And they do this through such mediums as channeling and dousing, for example. When a person is dousing, it has been shown through advanced brain scan technology that their brain waves change and take them from beta to high beta. It is in this state that we are able to access higher levels of intuition, which means tapping primarily into the astral plane. The astral plane, otherwise known as the astral world, the psychic plane, or the world of glamour, has a massive impact and effect upon our physical world, not least because it operates within and alongside our own, the physical plane. Its etheric inhabitants exert a massive impact upon our emotional states through various means, and rarely for our own greater good. Regardless of your belief in this unseen world of frequencies, it impacts your life in a number of ways. The common mistake that many people make regarding the astral is that they think, see or perceive it to be in some way above and separate to our own physical plane. This is simply not the case, for the astral permeates both itself and the physical world as we know it. We live among the astral frequencies, and for the most part it does not deliberately manifest itself to us, unless we raise our frequency or awareness, or do something foolhardy, unknowingly or otherwise, to open the door to it unwittingly. Now this can be done when we consult a medium, play with a Ouija board, play with the tarot, mess around with astral projection, becoming involved in magic, black or white, or any one of a number of alternative practices, including dousing and meditation. There are rules of engagement with all levels and planes of being, but the astral represents probably the most dangerous to the amateur or curious unprotected mind. We may, for the most part, be perceptually unaware of the astral operating within and around our own space, but be in no doubt that it does. It is in the astral that our thoughts and emotional responses, which are energy and thus subtle vibrational frequencies, take shape and form, thought forms. These thought forms are like clouds that hang around in the ether until they dissipate or dissolve. Whilst in form, our thoughts attract other like frequencies. These frequency clouds grow and with enough sustained emotional energy attached to them, can become frequencies of astral matter or elementals. This is the basis behind hexes, spells and charms, and it is also why concepts like the secret don't and cannot work in the way that they are sold to the uninformed.